Hi Libra and welcome to my channel Awaken with Nancy. This is going to be your March 2020 general reading. So I don't know if there are going to be love messages that come through for you. There may be, there may not be. I've already done a love reading for you guys for the month of March and I'll probably do another one. So this is just going to be general in nature and if it's not resonating with you, you may want to check out videos for your moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you would like to book a private reading with me, I will pin a comment down below. You can simply click and be directed to my website, awakenwithnancy.com, where you can book online. Um, for the month of March, I am having a raffle. It requires a $10 donation to my channel. If you want to participate, there's a link below to my PayPal account, or there is an, a PayPal icon in the banner of my channel. And if you would just note that it is for the raffle and make sure I have your email address, that would be very much appreciated so I don't have to dig around for it. The winner, um, the, the deadline is the 15th at midnight. So if you are watching this after the 15th, I'm probably going to offer these raffles um, monthly. It just depends on the participation. So we'll see how that goes. So you're not going to miss out on anything. What I'm offering is a one hour past life relationship reading and it is $125 value. It's pretty fascinating. I've done it for several of my private clients and it's been very enlightening and well received. Uh, we will look at who you and your person were to each other in a past life, what the obstacles were between you, who you are in this lifetime, what the obstacles are now, and what needs to heal between the two of you. So this is for those of you who are in some sort of deep soul connection, and you just know that you've had a past life or past lives with this person. I will get in touch with the winner on March 16th, and then you will have your reading before the end of the month for sure. Okay, so I just want to get into the reading, and I went ahead and pulled some overall energy from several of my Oracle decks, and I'm not sure how it's going to play into the reading just yet, but this is guidance for you. Um, we've got thinker and it's time to release negativity so if you have been in your head thinking about your life and your personal circumstances and you're feeling hopeless or just not all that positive um, it's it's time to release any negative thoughts because you guys we're manifesting all the time, even when we sleep, and our thoughts matter. So now is a time to be very, very positive if you're wanting to manifest a different experience. We've got prosperity. This is beautiful. So this tells me that um, however you view prosperity, it could be money, it could be love, it could be you know, success in career, however you view that, um, this is a message that prosperity is coming to you soon. And then we've got the door to spirit and the sun. This is beautiful. These two cards together are amazing. The sun is the same message as the sun card in the tarot. It's a very powerful card. It is the most positive card in the tarot deck. It's all about happiness, enjoying life, um, positivity, being optimistic. And, you know, it's, it's a time for illumination and growth and expansion. So it's very, very positive card. And with the door to spirit, this is asking you to really connect with your higher self and connect with spirit. So if there are any angel guides or spirit guides that you feel strongly connected to or that you've been wanting to connect with, now would be a very good time. It's going to um, 
you know, provide you, your spirit guides will provide you with a lot of guidance, um, a lot of reassurance, and they, they want to help you. They want to help bring in this prosperity. Okay, so let's just get going. I'm going to do the Celtic Cross Spread. I don't know why that's always so hard for me to say. And I am going to be clarifying everything, you guys. What is coming in for Libra? The Ten of Cups wanted to flip over, but it didn't. So we'll see if it comes through. What is coming in for Libra? What does Libra need to know? The Nine of Cups. Okay, that is in the present position. That is about satisfaction and wish fulfillment. So you guys, you know, you are, some of you are in your head and, you know, if you've been thinking that things are not going to work out or that they're not working out the way that you want them to, it's time to just let go of that because there is prosperity available for you. There is wish fulfillment available for you. And we've got the Ace of Swords. This is challenging you. So this is a breakthrough. I, and you know, it is a sword. So that is, you know, our, our mental thoughts. So I'm, I'm just feeling that, yeah, some of you are needing to make a breakthrough to release any negativity. Um, that's challenging you, but it's going to come. It's going to come. Now, in the past, we've got the Three of Swords. That is about disappointment. That caused you a lot of mental anguish. It could be a love situation. And then in the future, the near future, we've got the Six of Swords. And that I, I love this card. Um, because it means that you're moving away from conflict. You're moving away from conflict with others, conflict within your own mind. And I do feel that for you, Libra. It's, I do feel that conflict with the thinker card coming up, um, the ace of swords challenging you. So this is just saying that you have every reason to be positive, especially with the sun coming out. And look at this, we've got the Ace of Pentacles in your conscious mind. This is you wanting to manifest a new beginning. And I do feel this coming in for you. Um, this is goes beautifully with the Prosperity card because the Pentacles are all about money and abundance. It's something in the physical realm that we can see and touch. So there is a new beginning that is wanting to come in for you. In the past, we have the Knight of Wands. Um, that, you know, I'm not, I'm sorry, that's not in the past. This is in your subconscious mind. So this is something that you've been thinking about. And it could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo, or a Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. Um, it could be a person. It doesn't have to be. This is a very passionate, fast moving energy. It could be something came into your life and then left just as quickly. So for some of you, um, you know, there could have been, you could have felt like you were turning the corner as far as a new beginning or prosperity, something like that, or that, um, Things were really changing and shifting in your life. And then just as suddenly things shifted back and it's, you, you guys, I have to say, it's really about our thoughts and our expectations. They're, they're so powerful. It could also be a person that just kind of came in and out of your life. It's like they were very exciting and passionate about you. And they left just as quickly as they came in and it left you brokenhearted. So that is a message for some of you. Now in your personal influence, we have the six of wands and this is all about success. So Libra, you have the tools 
that you need to be successful. Bring in this sun. Bring in this prosperity, this new beginning. Oh, your external influences. We've got the fool. This is about a rebirth, an absolute, complete resurrection. It's you going on a new path. And so there, there's a new path available to you, Libra. And it's going to lead to a lot of abundance. When I see this with the Ace of Pentacles coming up, this is just confirmation that, yes, you can have this new beginning. You can have this new adventure. It's, you know, it's unknown. It's very mysterious. Um, but it is coming in for you. It's wanting to come in for you. And I feel that spirit is going to help you with this. Spirit is going to lead the way. In your hopes and fears, we've got the two of wands. And this is a decision that needs to be made. Um, there could be several um, new paths that open up to you and you're not sure which way to go. You're not sure which um, path is going to lead to the most happiness, the most prosperity, the most abundance. And this is this came up for another sign as well. And you know, really what I'm feeling, um, 2020 is a very pivotal year. There are lots of shifts happening and I am just feeling that um, because we do have the door to spirit card, it, it spirit's going to guide you and it really doesn't matter which path you take. It's like both of them are meant for you. Both opportunities are meant for you and it's just the outcome will be a little bit different. But I feel that either path is going to lead to great happiness for you. Wow. And we're ending with the Six of Cups. This is a soulmate. This is reunion with someone. Um, this is also, you know, about nostalgia and having fond memories, going back in time. And so... I don't know. It's almost like I feel that for some of you, if life has been really difficult, that you're going to be in a sense transported back to a feeling of, um, okay, what am I trying to say here? Here's what I'm trying to say. I'm feeling that life is going to get easier and it's going to like mentally transport you back in time when you, to a time you remember where life was easy and it's going to bring up a lot of joy and a lot of happiness and it's almost like you're going to be able to exhale if you've been holding your breath because you just didn't believe that that life could ever go back to being so carefree and easy. And that doesn't mean you're not going to have responsibilities or obstacles or something like that. But I do feel with all these really amazing cards coming up that you are going to just be having an easier time. You're going to be enjoying life more, which is what we all really want to do. And the Ten of Cups is showing itself. So at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Nine of Swords. This is you um, having a lot of anxiety about um, what's happening in your life, about the future. You're probably losing sleep over it. And that's why this Ace of Wands is challenging you. You're needing to make a breakthrough. You're needing to believe that things are going to get better, that you, that your ultimate happiness is going to be available to you. And it is because right under this is the Ten of Cups. This is emotional contentment. It's the happy family card. It's happily ever after. And there's something that's coming in for you with the Knight of Pentacles. It's probably been very slow in the making, and it may not be here yet. I have a feeling it's not really here yet. 
um, for most of you. Um, but it is coming in for you, okay? And then we've got the Justice card. This is about cause and effect. So if you've been really working hard in the material world, in the physical world, you've been working on yourself spiritually, emotionally, physically, whatever it is, it's like balance is coming in. Um, there will be justice, okay? There's some sort of um, karmic cycle that's going to be ending for you. All right, very positive. Let's um, clarify. And you guys, we interesting, we only got one major arcana, and it's like one, one of the best major arcana there is, the Fool. And I just saw the Fool again while shuffling. So let's clarify this Nine of Cups for Libra. What do we need to know? Justice. So that's the second time we've seen that. Yeah. Um, something is being resolved. Some sort of cycle. Some sort of karmic cycle that you've been in is being resolved. And so your wish fulfillment is coming in Libra. And isn't it interesting? This is your card. I love it. Let's see. What do we need to know about the Ace of Swords? This is challenging you. Uh, the moon and the five of cups, interesting. Um, a very emotional energy. The moon is feminine. It, um, you know, it, it is a major arcana, you guys. It represents our fears. It can represent our intuition. Um, it's a very mysterious energy. It can also represent illusions. And with the Five of Cups coming up with this, this is sadness about the past. And we do have the Three of Swords in the recent past, so this could definitely be about a love situation. I mean, it's all kind of adding up here. Um, so this is really you being sad about the past and not focusing on what's available to you. And that is why this card came through. It's time to release negativity. If you would only look up, you could see these two sparkling cups that are available to you. There's a new beginning, you guys. There's prosperity. The sun is going to shine again. With the moon, this is you um, just fearing the worst and, and just feeling like it's never going to happen. And this is why this breakthrough needs to come through. Um, you know, come in. Uh, and I feel that spirit's going to help you with that. Let's see what the three, what the three of swords is about oh my gosh king of wands um so we've got the king of wands and the knight of wands there's two scenarios that are coming through on this um for some of you uh this could definitely be a person that broke your heart okay um and it could be a fire sign it could be an aries leo or a sagittarius so that's for some of you. Further clarifying, yep, we've got the Fool and the Five of Swords. So what I'm feeling is that um, you thought this was the one and you jumped in. You may be feeling a little foolish now um, you were stabbed in the back. You were stabbed in the heart. You were stabbed in the back and you were left heartbroken is what I'm feeling. But this all happened for a reason um, because there's a new beginning available for you guys. For others of you, if this is not love related, what I'm feeling is that it has to do with an opportunity in the recent past. 
and things. It's it's like with the King of Wands, he's he's a leader. He's like a visionary. Okay, very charismatic. Um, people respect him, look up to him, and I'm feeling that you had a vision for your life, and it did not work. It's like you jumped in, you took a risk and it didn't work out the way you thought it was going to. It could have been in career, a new business venture, um, a friendship, whatever, whatever. It could even be family related, but there's something here, a financial investment. Um, it did not work out the way you thought it was going to, and it left you incredibly disappointed and left you with the feeling that things are just never going to work out for you. And that is simply not true because we've got all these great cards coming through. Let's see what this Six of Swords is about. So, I mean, that's you moving beyond this Three of Swords and that Five of Swords. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. This is amazing. This could be somebody coming in for you, uh, an earth sign, um, so Taurus, Libra, or Capricorn. Um, but more than anything, this is really about you leaving the past in the past, moving on to more tranquility, and you're moving in to abundance. You're moving in to prosperity, you guys. The pentacles represent wealth, stability. So I do feel that you are going to really stabilize your life. We've seen justice now twice, so things are balancing out for you. What do we need to know about this Ace of Pentacles? The Page of Pentacles. Okay, the Ace and the Page. This is like a new beginning and a new chapter. Um, the Page is really about um, thoughts and plans and ideas for the future. So you may be, we've got the thinker card, you may be really in your head about how to bring in this new beginning. You've got ideas, you're in your thoughts, you're in the planning stages to bring about this new chapter in your life. So that is, um, you know, a very uh, affirming message that something new definitely is coming in in the physical realm for you. And it's very grounded and it's very stable. Let's see what this Knight of Wands is about. Two of Wands, you guys. So this is a repeating message. This is in your hopes and fears. And I don't know, I'm just feeling that this Knight of Wands is related to the King of Wands in the past. It's like, this is something that you really thought was gonna stay in your life, whether it's a person or a situation, and you thought it was more stable. You thought it was um, like more mature because the King of Wands is mature. Whether it's an energy or a person, um, and it's it's almost like you're you can't get over it in a way. You may be dreaming about it. We do have the nine of swords. And you know, so you are really stuck in your head. It could be coming out in your dreams. It's producing anxiety. This is something or someone that you really wanted, okay, that you really desired and you're not really wanting to turn your back on it and move in a new direction. But that's exactly what Spirit's asking you to do, you guys. I, I feel that if this is a person, for some of you, you are wanting reunion with them. Let's see what the six of 
Wands wants to say, what is the Six of Wands about? Queen of Cups. Beautiful. This is, um, you know, could be a water sign for you guys. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But this is your personal influence. And what I'm feeling from this is you've really been in your emotions. You are very emotionally attached to bringing in the success, the prosperity, this new beginning that you're wanting. And it's going to be extremely important for you to rely on your intuition. We did see the moon card. So, you know, in a sense, this is really um, a repeating message, you guys, uh, especially with door to spirit. So you have this higher wisdom available to you that you can access at any time. It's going to help you make decisions. It's going to help you make um, the decision when this two of wands comes in. Okay. So just listen carefully, you guys. Um, this could also be success with a water sign or somebody who is just very loving, intuitive, emotional type of person. Let's See what the fool wants us to know. What do we need to know about this fool? The chariot and nine of pentacles. Beautiful. Two major arcana, you guys. Um, the Fool, that's a resurrection. That's going on a new journey. It's a new path. It's unknown. With the chariot coming through, this is about, you know, aligning everything. It's like, it's when your positive thoughts and your negative thoughts it's, it's like you bring those together, you integrate those so that you can move forward. You're not focused on the negative. Um, you know, you're not letting that hold you back, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. You're not letting those, those doubts and those fears hold you back anymore. It's like you're accepting that you've had those thoughts, but you're remaining positive with the sun card here, and you're ready to charge forward toward victory. And, you know, it's going to bring in all this abundance. We've already seen the prosperity card, the queen of pentacles. Now we're seeing the nine of pentacles. This is you being set, okay? It's like you've got everything that you could possibly need or want, and you're really good. This is about self-reliance. This is you, you know, taking the bull by the horns and experiencing what you want in life, getting what you want out of life. Beautiful. Let's see what this Two of Wands is about. The Eight of Swords and the Four of Swords. So we've seen the Three, Four, Five, and Six of Swords, you guys. You are really in your heads. And now, and the Eight and Nine, and the Ace. So we've seen almost all the Swords cards, you guys. Um, you're a little, you're feeling a little bit trapped in your head about this decision coming up, which path to take. You don't, with the four of swords, it's, it's like you, you have healed from this past heartbreak, but this is reminding you that you don't want to go down that road again. You don't want to go down, you don't want to choose the wrong path for fear that it's going to lead to disappointment. And so you're really kind of trapped and I'm, I'm surprised that we haven't seen the two of swords, honestly, because that is the stalemate. It's like you can't even move. But with this, it's like you can't move because you're all tied up. You're all tied up in your head. So this is, um, you know, it's, it's challenging energy for sure, but I feel like you are going to move through it. Now let's see what the Six of Cups is about. 
Oh, wow. In the outcome, the Six of Cups, this is a soulmate. This is um, wanting reunion. It's also like being very nostalgic for um, about a time in your life that was happy and beautiful. And clarifying this, we've got the devil. This could be a Capricorn, but um, yeah, I just am feeling a lot of fear in this card. So it's, it's you, you know, being in your head, having these fears that life is never gonna get easier. But we've got the Page of Wands here. This is about an exciting new chapter. This is, this is in a sense, a new beginning where you're very curious. You are just feeling, um, you know, very passionate about going down a new path, starting something new, because this comes after the Ten of Wands. So if you can just release these fears that the devil is bringing up. You can just go happily along on this new chapter. We've got two pages, you guys, and we've got two aces. Um, so yeah, better days are ahead for you, Libra. We've got the six of swords at the bottom of the clarifying deck, and we have that in the future as well. You can see in this depiction, this woman is laying down the swords. She doesn't want to be in a battle anymore. She doesn't want to be in a battle with herself. She doesn't want to be in a battle with others. She's laying down those swords. She's facing the light and she's walking in to the sun. It's just beyond the cloud cover, okay? So this is amazing. Okay, all my cards are falling down. And then under... That we've got the King of Pentacles. We've seen the King and Queen of Pentacles. So definitely this prosperity, this stability is coming in for you. This could even be, um, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? An earth sign, okay, uh, that comes in for you. A rock solid, like this dude, and it doesn't have to be a guy. But this dude is like rock solid marriage material, committed, loyal, um, wealthy, and just, you know, stable, stable, stable. And below that, we've got the magician. So you can manifest this. If this is what you're wanting, Libra, you can manifest this. You have it within you. Okay. You guys, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If it did resonate, please like, share, subscribe, and I'd love to hear your comments. Until next time, I am sending you so much love. Bye-bye.